My name is Dave Moss. I spend approximately 200 days a year at racetracks all over the country, helping professional and amateur road racers and track day riders with suspension tuning on their motorcycles. I tune approximately 3,500 bikes per year. This is Two Clicks Out. Now steal the microphone, master. Okay, you're out of here. See you on the next one. Rear tire's beautiful. Yeah, it did clean up nice. Hey, Santa's here. The R6 shock, the, uh, well, as Dave and I were discussing, normally uh, they have a light spring with a high preload. And the complaint that everybody has is that with the light spring, when you get on the gas, the rear end squats down. And that's a bad thing. Because you don't get a, as good of a drive off the corners. Oh, I got able it. to get it. We're not changing the spring in this instance. What we're going to do is measure the spring for installed preload to make sure that the installed preload is not too stiff. So we're going to pull the clip off and then let the shock drop back through. Now we're at 148. So, yeah. 15. That's too much. 15 installed. Okay, so. It needs to be 8. Yeah, you got 15. So. You don't need to turn that much. The, uh, the the faster guys like a stiffer spring with less preload, and that has less of a tendency to squat under acceleration. So that's what we did. Was basically he had put a stiffer spring on it, but he hadn't backed the preload adjuster off. It's got a hydraulic preload adjuster, and it's set in a certain position, and it needs to be moved higher up on the shock to give it less preload. And by doing that. You can run a stiffer spring, less preload, gives you a softer ride on top, but more resistance to bottoming and less squish as you accelerate off the corners. Okay, bottom bolt. Okay. It's through. Now go for the dog bones. Feet up, grab the bars. <coughs> okay, go ahead and hop off. About 22, 25. If, if you pull up, if you include that measurement, yeah, it's about 30, which is where it should be. Remember, this is a TTX with a top-out spring. Mm -hmm. Because it has a top-out spring, you never see that part right. unless we're, you're braking. Right. A lot of times we just take the top-out spring out and then run 25 millimeters of sag. Because a lot of times. Because the top out spring is so stiff and you have a one or a, a 10 kilo spring on there, right. it takes a, at least 10 kilos just to get that top out spring to squish. So a lot of times with the, the lighter guys or the guys that are not as aggressive, they complain that when they get on the gas, the back end squats. squats down and that's because of the top out spring. So get rid of the top out spring and you won't have that problem. The new spring, it's not giving me that problem. Because it's stiffer? Spring. Yeah, my old yeah. spring, you can feel it squatting. Right, because of that top out spring. Yeah. And the top out spring is actually pushing the shock down because of that. Right. So with the stiffer spring, you're fine. You have the right preload now. You have the stiffer spring now. Um, you, what are your adjusters at? Go to nine. Okay. Sit on it. That's better. Yeah, it doesn't. Yeah, that's fine. It doesn't roll over. Yeah. yeah. So you're not getting that. Yeah, it doesn't go. Yeah, that's why I thought it was way too much preload. In the yeah, it was. Because it's wanting to hit the top. Right. And that's well, what it's the... just running on the top out spring essentially. Right. Which is why you're getting really sporadic, spotty wear. Yeah. Slide, do, slide, do, do. slide. Do I yeah. need to revalve the shock again? No. No, no, no. Okay. Let's do the easy stuff first. Yeah, we'll see if we can tune it out. Yeah. Start with that. See how the tire wear. Improves. And make sure you're at 28 hot. Or leave leave the pit at 26 right. on the warmers, which should get you right around 28. Right. Okay. Find out next time. Cool. Thanks, All right. Guys. No problem. See ya. You know, recommended installed preload on those is anywhere up to 15. And if he's running it like that, like you said, it's coming, it's just working the top out spring. 
you're not getting anything. In. Well, Especially under braking, it's just hopping. <clears throat> right. He said with the, the stiffer spring, it's better. But with the softer spring, it was just squishing under acceleration, right. which is what the main complaint is with those. You know, if you run the stiffer spring, that works better, but you have to run less preload. So it's a compromise. Yeah. We'll see what happens to the tire. Yeah, I think it'll clean up. It should be better. 